Vicky here with you and today I want to do some painty paper I don't have any left um, it's been a while since I've done any and uh, so I figured this would be a great opportunity to uh, I'll just chat with you guys and see what you're up to and as well as show how I did the paper that I use for my borders and I'm thinking that maybe I should do another uh, video on making borders just because it's been a while since I've made them and uh, it'd be good to have a few in my stash and I believe I've used pretty much all of the ones that I had in Happy Mail and stuff so I don't have any more so it'd be good to have some more so basically for the painty paper what I do is I use security envelopes such as this one and I open them up like so I think we'll probably have enough with this. We'll keep that one too. But I don't think, I don't know, I don't think we're going to be making all of those. But anyway, I'll see. Maybe I'll do two batches. So this is counting as one thing in my 100 things challenge because. It's painty paper. So I pulled out some napkins. I've got some scraps on my desk. I've got some book paper um, that I have. Uh, some that I had torn. It was part of the ephemera packs, but I, I tore that piece, so I took it away. So now basically I keep this side clean and I just work on this side. Uh, and this way, when I make the borders, you've got this beautiful design on the other side of the border. Not that it really matters because at the end of the day when you cover it all up well you don't see it anymore but anyway let's just say that's the way I do things so let's just I haven't painted like in forever I don't even have like real water left in my bowl for my paintbrush my god it's been so long it's been quite a while that I've done like mixed media dirty mixed media like this and uh, I have to to admit to missing this There's something really relaxing in, uh, in doing this and, and on top of it I'm using my um, my envelopes which you know I'm noticing though that there's more and more people that are sending stuff via email so my the number of envelopes that I collect per week is uh, starting to to get lower which is not necessarily a bad thing because uh, I can't keep everything so this way I get to use up the stuff and my accumulation of it is a bit less quick Now it's warmer too in the garage so that helps as well because uh, when it was very cold it's kind of hard for me to, uh, to work here. We've had a pretty cold winter up here so. so I'm just using whatever paint I want. I know I want to have a, a blue, um, more of a bluish envelope so for this one that's what I'm doing and I'm using the same paintbrush because why dirty another anyway it's not like I'm uh, doing anything uh, super fancy I'm just just painting and uh, what else maybe a more pale one a great way of using your paint using your stash of whatever items you have okay so I'll dry this off just a tad because I want to start putting uh, stuff on it and I'm going to be using my Liquitex gloss medium. 
but I don't want it to spread over whatever I'm, the paint to spread over what I'm going to be uh, putting. Okay, so look at my protects here. And uh, let's just have fun. So first I'm thinking I want to use some paper like this. And because you're gonna be putting this in borders and such there's not going to be uh, you know it doesn't matter that it's not spread totally equal it's the strips are small and it doesn't really show at the end of the day like you don't see the full the full section of the paper so it's all good Okay, so this one is folded. It's okay because it gives texture. Now I've got some tissue paper here. Just gonna use that up. Some of the napkin. I've removed the um, the backing prior to doing this, so that I don't have too many layers. So otherwise, it wouldn't stick properly. I don't know what I'm going to use this paper for. Like I said, I, I'm thinking borders, but I'm also thinking maybe I can make some of my flowers with some of this paper. So I'm working on some little kits and stuff. We shall see. I don't know yet how this is all going to turn out. Okay, and then uh, I've got this strip of whatever. It's shiny. I'm really trying to use up my stash, my stuff. I'm loving this challenge from uh, Rebecca for that. Um, but I also know that uh, I'm going to want to shop soon, so... I better get cracking because otherwise it's going to drive me nuts. Okay, and I have some tissue paper from Alex and Nanny. For, uh, I made a purchase there. And of course, couldn't throw away the tissue paper. It's a disease, guys. It's a disease. You end up keeping everything. You have to be careful. Because otherwise gonna take over my life okay I've got some I've got some music paper here that was actually on the floor so it's pretty grungy but that's okay I'll put some more of that tissue paper I 
Okay, what else do I have in there that I could use? I have a snowflake napkin. I'm pretty sure that if I put it down here and once it's cut up, it's not going to show that it's snowflakes anymore. It's just going to be a different shade of blue. And basically, I want a lot of different texture and stuff on there. I tend to forget the edges, so I need to be careful about that. And this there. So I'll dry this off a bit because my next step, I think, is going to be to do some stamping on this. still coughing a bit. I'm still feeling that uh, my lungs are have mucus or whatever on them. It's still not fully healed. It's really aggravating. I really hate this but there's not much I can do about it. So I need to do the best I can with that. Okay so I'm thinking I'm gonna do I'm going to start off with doing this. This is solid. I'm seeing little bits and pieces that I should use up. Might as well put them there. I hope I'm in frame. So this is just a regular, a regular bottle. It's actually the pill bottle for my BB Max. I had to give him pills before he passed, and uh, and I kept the bottle. And every time I use it, I think of him. I think of him much more than that, but that's uh, that's one of the times that I think of him. Okay, so what else do I want to put on there? What else do I have that I can use? I'm thinking I want when you use the stamp. Also have yeah that's I haven't done this in a while so let's use this as a mark making tool I love that thing So that's that. And I think I want to add a bit of this. This this is shimmery paint. I just love this paint. It's 
gives a beautiful shine. It's kind of translucent, like it's not fully opaque, especially when using your finger to spread it. do I want to do on this thing? Do I want to add some white? Could put some white with uh, this Janela. brush I really like this really really like this now hmm, I'm thinking that it could be fun where is it I'm looking for um, I have a bin of that uh, lost it. Where is it? Since I've rearranged my garage, it's kind of a, it's hard to find my stuff. Okay, I found it. So let's, let's put some of the Lindy spray. I haven't used it in a while. In purple. kind of pretty. Okay, so I'm going to be putting this aside to dry. And we've done our first paper. Our first painty paper. Okay, so next one. Um, I'm thinking I still want to go with the blues. I have a project in mind and uh, blue goes well with it. So I'll use the same brush. What's your favorite thing to recycle? I'm curious to know. You know I love recycling envelopes. Because they're plentiful. It's nice uh, knowing you've got a lot of stock. Let's put some turquoise. I think I'm going to use it. One of those plastic cards to spread it. Makes a difference.
Okay. I think I want some more in this corner. Taken some out. Ah, there it is. So let's use a crossword puzzle this time around. Use that up. Now this paper which is pretty it's got paint on it I think it was sent in some happy mail Might as well use it all because I don't want to have leftover pieces. I'm trying, like I said, to use up all my stuff. 
<clears throat> I really wanted to make a dent in my stash. So that's that. Uh, have a bit of book paper. Once it's dry, you can also add more stuff to it. doesn't have to stay this way. Um, and this piece of paper that fits with the, the purple that's there. So use some of that up. I think I'm going to keep this. I'd like to make a purple one after, so that could go with the purple. Um, now, I'd like to ha add a bit of purple to this. So I'm trying to see where is my purple shimmery paint. I have one that's Bluish, and it's not is it this one. No, it's this one, I think. Violet blue, maybe this one would be better. So I'll just put a bit on this here and there just because I can and it's fun and I love shimmer So like that, and uh, at this point, I think I think I want to add a bit of white, a bit more like to cover some of the areas which are very busy. We'll bring them back a bit. A 
I like the look of that. just a bit of white here and I'm really liking this okay so this is kind of cool now I just want to dry this off and I'm gonna step a bit and I think that one will be called done Okay, and I don't want to do the same stamping, so let's use this instead. I think my camera above uh, no longer has any any space on it so probably gonna end up uh, being the front camera so I'm hoping that you guys can see so I'm putting weight all over my all over my ink which is not cool okay so this uh, I think I just want to add, add some splashes but uh, I'm thinking maybe I should bring back some of the the blue so let's try that out so mm -mm -mm. Got a here And I'm putting more on my fingers than on there's some but it's not a maybe I watered it down too much yeah it was pretty runny initially so that might be why. There's some cool lines though. Some very cool lines. It's messy like hell and I'm probably gonna find blue paint all over afterwards including my myself but it's okay I really like how that one turned out so there it is it's really really yummy guys I'm not sure that you can get it on um, that one I didn't cut properly, so it's going to be too hard to make. So I think I'm going to make only one left because uh, because I'm getting tired and it takes a while to uh, to make these things. So three is already a lot, I think. So the last one I think I'm going to go with the purples, and because uh, I haven't made any purple ones and I really lo love purple 
So let's go with purple. And I've got some purple left uh, paper. So I'm going to use that. So let's spread this off using this instead of a brush to start off. And uh, so that's the first layer that's going to be down. I'm going to put some more. And in here. I hope you guys can see properly. Kind of like the lines that it gives by doing it this way instead of with the paintbrush. <coughs> Okay. Um, I could put some pale one. I don't know if it's going to show. Maybe in the spots where there wasn't any paint. that paper will be used up. use the leftover piece of this. I've got two pieces of left. Might as well use them. Asian book page.
So I'm just basically trying to find some interest in uh, wherever so that when you cut it off, there's going to be parts that are going to be interesting everywhere, you know? Not just, uh, not just in some areas. So, because when you cut it off, you never know what it's going to, what it's going to look like in the end. Like which piece is going to go where. So, that. What else do I have that I could use? Got this napkin. Not sure if that napkin has been, uh, if the backing had been removed. I've got a feeling that it wasn't removed. Yeah. There's still a, there's still a backing to it. Is the one I thought I was going to use and that I removed the backing from, I didn't use. So, yeah. Typical. Yep. Now I've got this one. Just like the pattern on this one. I think it could be pretty with this. Music. It's very monochromatic, and that's kind of what I want. I don't want too too many colors on these ones, so yeah, that's why I'm going for this. This time I'm going to use this one, which is blue black iridescent. There's my use whatever. Oh, I like this. iridescence. I'm not sure that it's picking up on camera, but it's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so I really like that.
<coughs> and I think I'm going to add a bit of the white through this just because that's what I feel like doing so just a bit of white like this and like this and of course I put too much so my holes are not showing up all that good that so I like that and uh, what else do I want to do any stamping I'm not sure I want to do any stamping on this one I'll see anyway when uh, when all is finished when it's dried off so this is the you can tell now the shimmer right then cool so I hope that you've enjoyed uh, this and you've painted well with me while I was doing this that you've been uh, doing some craft as well and uh, one more thing of the Rebecca's 100 things challenge bye everyone